everyone, Kathy here from Dirty Booty Soaps. And today I'm doing a blueberry fragranced soap. Uh, but I wanted to do something kind of in celebration of the United States 4th of July holiday coming up this summer. Because that's where I'm originally from, naturally, is the U.S. Uh, originally Washington State. Moved to New York State and now living in Canada. So I've been around. Um, but anyway, I wanted to do something kind of fun for summer. So I thought, well, we'll get into the Independence Day, 4th of July theme. And uh, I'm going to do a red, white, and blueberry is what I'm calling it. Red, white, and blueberry because it's scented blueberry. So I'll tell you what I did here. First, I was trying to come up with something unique. I know I wanted to pipe a soap again because I have the urge, right? If you make soap and you pipe, you know, it can be very relaxing. So anyway, what I did was I thought I'm going to do something with red and white stripes, kind of like the flag. And then I have to figure out what to put in the star area. So what I did was I used my little... Uh, little candy bar. It's like a little thin candy bar wafer mold. It's silicone mold. And I did some blue melt and pour. And then I took some clear melt and pour. And I put on a little golden bell. Originally, I thought oh, it would be really cool if I could do like 13 stars going around in a circle. But it wouldn't fit on this little blue square. So I thought we'll do it like the Liberty Bell. So that's my plan for the, the corner. And then I'm gonna do the red and white uh, stripes. So uh, I'm gonna pipe the stripes, kind of doing a little wiggle line, going back and forth. Naturally, I'm going to go be going kind of above my uh, dividers. It shouldn't be a problem to get them out I think I'm going to use my wire to kind of, you know, go along and, and get them out that way. Um, so, yeah, hopefully that won't be a problem. I probably have more soap than what I need for the piping, but that's okay. It is what it is. I wasn't quite sure how much to hold out. So, um, using uh, the uh, really red mica from Nurture Soap. Look at that. That is really red. And then I just put a little bit of titanium dioxide in my the rest of my batter for, for just a plain white bar and to do the stripes with. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start filling my piping bags. Uh, let me put a paper towel down here. So I, I didn't bore you with mixing and uh, mixing my soap and all that since it's just a plain white um, bar. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll put some soap in our bags and we'll get started piping. Um, just going to do a little at a time and hopefully it won't get too thick on me here. So I'm going with my the narrow part of my tip up at the top like you were doing a petal. So we'll do the white first and like I said I'm going to be going over oops had an air bubble that won't be good. We're gonna take just take that off. I'll set that back in there. I didn't think I had an air bubble. Anyway, we'll see if we can get this going here now. Just kind of a Kind of winging it with this design since I've never done anything like this with my piping. So that's not bad. 
I think I'll keep doing my first row of white stripes on each one here. Feel free to fast forward if you're getting bored. This may be a bit of a tedious soap. That's better if I go quicker. Do, 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 That didn't work so well. Trial and error. Maybe I'll just do the first two and then I'll turn it and do the other one. Anyway. We, uh, if you follow me over on Instagram, you'll see my husband got our construction project done. He was making a pool platform and stairs. Something a little less treacherous than the pool ladder we were using last weekend. Or last year, sorry, not last weekend. Last summer. My neighbor even said, yeah, we were watching you last summer getting in and out of that pool. It looked a little shaky. I said, yeah, well, won't be so bad this year. Anyway. These are turning out cute. I can't wait to get the red stripes going. We'll do our next row. Let me just stir it. Oh, just to make sure it's staying and not seizing on me. I to keep it somewhat pipeable. So giving them a stir. Okay, then we'll get this one. So some of these will look cuter than others. Come on. It's just starting to thicken up in here. Oh, air bubble. So I'm gonna just squeeze the rest out of there. And uh, we'll start on our red. Let's set this off to the side. Anyway, so we got that done. I got some succulent gardens planted. Put this off to the side here. Um, I planted these succulent gardens right off of our deck, and they look really cute. So like I said, if you don't follow me on Instagram, uh, go ahead and head on over there, and you'll see you'll see a bunch of more pictures. All right, so. Get my red in here. My tip pointed the correct way. Well, actually, this one's a different tip. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of more of a, a straight, but it's got a little bit of a, of a ridge in there. Look at that. I love that red. So hopefully I can get another white stripe and another red stripe on 
each of these. There I go. Getting quiet because I, I concentrate. It's like, oh yeah, I gotta talk to you guys too. I uh, would have music going, but on one of my videos, I had music that kind of overlapped into the second part I put together. And it was only on for like two minutes. And it was really low. But somebody complained. Oh, can you imagine? Couldn't tell what I was saying through all the music. I'm like, it was really low. You could hardly hear it. That's why I said to myself anyway. Some people can't just can't make them happy. Okay, so we're going to come this way. Go right like this. And of course, when we're all done, I'm going to finish these off with some glitter. Yay, glitter! I know, I haven't used glitter for a while. But I thought, yeah, oops, make these festive. Okay. Um debating should I empty that out? Hopefully it will stay okay. Okay, I think that one's alright. We use the same bag. Sometimes I'm worried that my tip is gonna clog on my piping bag. Anyway. Mush this around some more. Fill up my bag. I'm only worrying about getting one more row of white piped. So, let's see. Whoop. One more. Come on. I think my tip is clogged a little. I'm hoping I don't have a blowout. Oh, I um, had somebody ask on my uh, body whips if I could make an exception and and just send her one anyway. She didn't mind if it got a little soft and and I apologize, but no, I can't make any exceptions because if I do for one, I have to make exceptions for everybody. And I don't ship them this time of the year. I'm just not going to risk it. Which is why I have the pre-order going for October 1st shipping. Um, that way I can ensure pretty much it will arrive there without melting. So I'm sorry, but you know, I can't make any exceptions. Another thing I wanted to mention on uh, subscription boxes um, won't be in the purple box anymore. I'm going to try and save a little on the shipping. Oops. So 
you'll just get your soaps either in a padded envelope or or in a box if I send something that's like extra fragile uh, so you won't get the purple boxes anymore it gets pretty expensive to ship those I have to say I really don't make any money on the subscription boxes which is fine I mean I, I do do this for the enjoyment I'm not out to make a million dollars, but it is nice to make sales and actually make some money. Okay, so we'll finish with our red. Uh, okay, this one doesn't have a... Oh, that one doesn't. Hold on. I missed a white stripe. Hold the phone. Why didn't you guys tell me? There. Okay. Oh, geez, Louise. Geez, Louise. Okay. Let me squeeze a red one in here. Hear me breathing. It's like so quiet. All right, let me squeeze this down. Lose my grip. These are looking pretty cool. Pretty cool, man. And my dog's pacing upstairs. Probably like, where's mommy? Where'd mommy go? They're so codependent on me. It's kind of ridiculous sometimes. They're like joined at the hip. Now, like a toddlers, they always got to know where are you going? What are you doing? Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done with the piping part. I'm pretty happy with how they're turning out. Not exactly the ripple I wanted in my head, but I think they're all right. All right, that's okay. All right, so I have a lot of leftover soap. I'll do something with that. Um, so anyway, there's our stripes. Pretty cool, right? So now in the upper corner, I'm going to put in our little Liberty Bell blues, like so. I'm just setting them in. I have to kind of make sure they're away from the divider. So when I go to get these out, I won't uh, nick the blue. Is that patriotic looking or what? I like it. I really do. Making sure all my bells are going the right way. Like that. What do you think, guys? Huh? Our red, white. And blueberry, Fourth of July soaps. Huh. 
hoping also, I think I'm going to put these in the fridge um, because I don't want my things to melt on top. So I might put it in the fridge for a couple hours with the lid on. I have an extra fridge downstairs that I use for my stuff here. Okay, now. Neat, huh? Okay, so now we're going to hit it. Hit it with some glitter. Yeah. We're going to put the potty on the top. We're going to potty like it's 1999. Well, that was already passed. Y2K was nothing, wasn't it? I think we all freaked out for no reason. Okay, so I put a little too much glitter on some of these. I might blow on it just to get it off. Okay. Okay. Oh, I think it looks pretty cool. Anyway, we'll bring it down for close-up. Uh, like so. And there we go. I will bring you back when I get all of these out of the mold. So, hang in there. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back and I have popped all of these out of the mold. And uh, I think they turned out pretty good. They're a nice hard bar of soap. And very patriotic red, white, and blueberry with our uh, little Liberty Bell on a field of blue. I suppose if you could find some really, really tiny stars, you could have put like a circle of stars around for the 13 original colonies. And you could have had 13 stripes on here, maybe, if you had more patience than me to do really thin stripes. But anyway, I think they turned out very cool, very patriotic, and summertime-ish, if that's a word. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching me again make soap and uh, have some fun with piping. Uh, follow me over on Facebook and Instagram on Dirty Booty Soaps. And uh, if you haven't hit subscribe, please do so and ring that bell and you'll be notified when we get a new video. So until next time, I'll say early, happy 4th of July, even though it's not even the end of May. But make some fun soaps for summer. Thanks again. We'll catch you all on the next video. Bye for now.